All right, guys, real quick. This is the end of the video. Me, uh, so future editing me can mosh this up to however uh, it works best. But I do want to say this real quick before the video actually starts. Uh, however this video goes up or is recorded or whatever, it's going up regardless. I talk about in the video some changes that I've made in terms of making my content. Um, and just to kind of learn what works best and what you guys like, regardless if the content is either better or worse or whatever, it's going up just to kind of learn and see what you guys like, what I like in terms of how it turned out and whatnot. I'll, I'll address what's changed and whatnot in the video, but I do want to preface this right now in case it is a little bit worse, okay? I'm finishing up the video right now as of writing, so I don't, I haven't looked back on the footage or anything like that, but I do want to give you guys that heads up just in case, okay? Enjoy the video. What is going on guys? Back with another video today on the channel. Uh, it's been a hot minute. Uh, I kind of want to give you guys a quick update as to why I haven't posted in a minute. And some new things. That's what's going on. Like literally as of recording the video, it's no big deal. I just wanted to kind of make this quick, uh, quick little ride to go feed the cats. A lot of you guys have been asking me about the cats, how they're doing. So we're going to go see them again today. One of them had kittens that I just recently found out about, so that's always nice. Also, a lot more mouths to feed, which it's a lot of food that I gotta buy, so not so nice, but uh, you know, it is what it is, doing my good deed for the day and whatnot. But what you guys can't really tell is, well, for one, between my last video and when I posted, it was my birthday. Uh, so, you know, I just kind of took that time went out had some fun with friends all that you know birthday stuff and whatnot so i went out had some birthday fun uh had a great time had a great weekend with the friends i feel like i haven't really gone out with friends in a while so that was like much needed much deserved and whatnot of course of course that car has to speed so that way i can't go i low-key hate this intersection i low-key really hate this intersection right here because I'm trying to go that way and I can't. Well, at least there's no car behind me. Are you serious? I probably could have gone before that bus, but it's a bus. <laughs> I did not feel like final destinationing uh, myself today. Now there's a car behind me. Okay, now I'm able to go. Jesus. I hate this intersection and going this way. Plus the car behind me was making me feel pressured to like just gun it and go. Which is not a safe thing to do. I would usually also gun this light. I never even really ride around this time to be honest with you. So it's probably a little bit busier than my usual riding time of the day and whatnot. But um, but yeah, first thing that you might have noticed is that I got some new gear. Uh, you can obviously see the new gloves. I got the new Field Research Division gloves. I already have maybe two other pair of gloves. I think they're both of the 100% brand. One of them I got for myself just to have riding gloves. Another one I got as a Christmas gift for my sister. These are just white and they, they have like white. I think they had green and they had orange or red now i could already rock the green or the red ones if the other one was also black i didn't want a third pair of black gloves so i want to get the white ones these look like they have a bit of extra padding you know white also pops as well so it looks a little bit different from your typical gloves in my opinion they have the cool branding on the uh, on the back of the hand now which is pretty cool in my opinion so for my birthday i got that uh, what I also have, which I'm also wearing right now, which you guys can't tell, but I'll probably pull over somewhere and show you, is I also have the Field Research Division vest. Uh, it has tons of pockets. I honestly was waiting for this vest to uh, release for a long time, just because ever since 
I think it was either Tristan himself on his own channel or when he was still with Super 73 early stages or something and he made a video of like must-haves for group rides I think and he had a, a vest like a vest with like just a ton of pockets I was like I like that vest but the vest I was looking at that he had in the video I think it was kind of expensive and then I went to California for the C1X event and I saw this vest and I'm like oh this vest is cool it's the new field research brand it's super 73 brand it's on brand has tons of pockets it looks really cool so I was like cool let me just go ahead and just wait for that to come out I uh, never really leaked anything online uh, but I went to the C1X event, I went to the headquarters, I saw the vest in person. I even took pictures of it to make sure like, hey, don't forget about the vest. This is the one you want, this is the one you like in case they come out with different versions. And they uh, came out with the vest, finally. I could have also gotten one of the jackets, but those jackets are kind of pricey. Plus right now it's about to be summertime and I don't want to wear a jacket when I'm riding in like the summer heat. So I'll take a vest. I'll take some extra torso body heat, some body warmth with extra pockets as well. So that's nice. One thing I also got that's new, uh, which you obviously guys can't can't even tell. It, well actually maybe with, the, with an angle, I got a new helmet. For the longest time I've been rocking with the Rurock RG1 DX helmets and while those helmets are awesome they're great they're full face protection for a content creator like if you're making content and like the way I make content it's really annoying to like take on and off because and I'm probably gonna do a how to make e-bike content like a setup type of video on my gear and whatnot I used to have my GoPro camera strapped to the chin part or the mouth guard part of the uh, helmet which if you have a Rurock you know that front part is modular you can take it off but of course if you do that and then if you have a microphone an external microphone connected to your GoPro that's got to be mounted somewhere else on the helmet so if you let's say you want to take off the helmet to talk to someone or to eat or whatever you have to be careful because if you're not careful the GoPro and the microphone will like detach from one another and it could damage it so that was a super annoying having to whenever i needed to take off the helmet basically take apart my whole gopro setup and so now for this new helmet it's it's 100 it's the status helmet i wanted to get the set the super 73 branded one but those sold out plus the one i have it looks exactly the same it's just a little bit darker in color which i personally kind of prefer uh, I got that one so now instead of the helmet being in front of my mouth it's in front of my eyes or not the helmet the GoPro I mean this helmet has a visor and I just use like a, a GoPro adhesive mount stuck it to the uh, inside part of the visor rewired the microphone a little bit or up, up and around inside and out the helmet whatever I think I'm gonna have to figure out a way to do it a little bit better uh, and that's how I have this new setup uh, I have a lot more room for my mouth and I say that because with the Rurox and with the strap that I would use and with the straps that I would use for my uh, for my GoPro to mount it onto my helmet it was literally crushing up against my mouth so you could literally hear me breathing basically on camp, well, maybe not breathing, but like it was just so uncomfortably close to the helmet that I just needed something with like some extra chin room, I guess you could say. And that's what this helmet has. This helmet is just, just a one piece type helmet. It's not modular, you can't take it apart. I also got the goggles, the Super 73 goggles to go with it. I think it's called the Burst Low or the Barlow goggles. I'm thinking of also getting a pair of Armigas just to have like extra protection, but I did want to get those just because I didn't want to have those be sold out on me uh and whatnot but again just kind of stay on brand with everything feel free to call me a super 70 fuck boy or whatever i like the brand i like the product so you know i'm just trying to stay on brand with everything so we've got the gloves got the vest we've got the helmet we've got the goggles uh and that's pretty much it i pretty much got all of this stuff either as a birthday gift or just like a gift to myself the helmet the, the helmet was a gift uh basically my mom gave me birthday money 
just to buy a new helmet because I wanted one. Uh, I got the goggles. The uh, the gloves and the vest were kind of like a surprise restock, sort of. So I didn't see that coming at all. They didn't really announce it. They just kind of put them up for sale. So I bought that. And that's pretty much it. Uh, this is actually my first time riding with all this new gear on. My birthday was like maybe two-ish weeks ago, a week and a half-ish ago. And what happened was, somehow, in me going out all weekend and whatnot, I got COVID. And it was so weird because at first I thought it was allergies. You know, I thought, oh, it's just allergies. It's springtime, flowers, pollen, you know, all that stuff. It, it is what it is. And then I took a test just to kind of see, just to get an idea of like what it is and whatnot. I tested positive. I texted all my friends who I hung out with the entire weekend, every single one of them. One of them, I spent my entire, basically Friday night, Saturday and Sunday with him. He was the first one I texted. I'm like, hey, I know we hung out all weekend, but I, I got COVID somehow. I uh, just wanted to let you know in case you need to do some you know, precautions to not spread it or if you made any plans, whatever, let me know. Turns out he was negative. I went to a party. I texted the host of the party to told, so that way he could text everyone who went to the party. No one else at the party got it. So somehow out of an entire weekend of me hanging out with people, having a good time at a bar, getting drinks, whatever, at an outdoor bar. I don't like sitting inside now. I like sitting at the outdoor bar because one, you know, it's, it's an open environment. COVID can't really spread as easily and whatnot. And then two, uh, the weather's getting nicer, you know? Let me enjoy some nice weather. So yeah, I somehow got COVID. I was out for a few days. Didn't really want to ride. Didn't want to post anything. Didn't really do anything. I still worked, but um, but yeah, that's that. So that's pretty much an update now. First, actually today's Cinco de Mayo. I just realized that. <laughs> uh, people have been commenting and hitting me up saying, hey, when's your next group ride? I'm like, I don't really know when. Uh, I hear of group rides online. I sometimes get invited to them, but most of them are in DC or out of state, which is not the easiest thing to uh, to travel for. But if I can make it work, I'll make it work. Only downside is sometimes these rides literally take like an entire day. Like I have to get up super early. Got to get up super early. I got to pack up the bike, make sure everything is good. Like either the, the morning of or the day before or whatever. Got to switch cars with my mom because she has the bigger car. And uh, just drive a couple of hours out, which... Driving isn't bad. The only downside that I don't look forward to when it comes to out-of-state rides is driving back because in the mornings, I could be hyped up. I could have all the energy in the world. But when it comes to driving back, I'm dead tired. I don't want to do anything. Sometimes I think about staying the night, but I'm like, uh, then that means I got to drive earlier tomorrow, yada, yada, yada. I'm like, let me not do that. What the fuck is going on here in this dumpster? Let me show you guys how I'm looking right now, real quick. So, the new helmet, the Super 73 goggles, and the vest. I got my wallet, both my house keys and my bike keys in some of the pockets. I think in the back of the pockets, there's like a, a pouch for Camelback so that we can have like a straw with water going up in here. Uh, I got the GoPro on the visor right here, as you can see. These are the goggles. I got some nose exposure, which is why I might get the Armigas as well. But, uh, but yeah, all in all, how does it look? Let me know. I'd love to know what you guys think. If you guys have this set up something similar, uh, or whatever. But um, that's the that's the gear now. That's what it is. That's how we do it now. What I also have to do as well is what time is it? It's five. So around, I think it's six six thirty. Well, at six thirty, I uh, am gonna go see the new Doctor Strange movie which I'm super excited for. I'm trying to do this thing where when it comes to Marvel movies, because I feel like those are like the biggest movie franchises out 
you know i'm trying not especially for the ones i really want to like enjoy like dr strange i dr strange is like my favorite avenger hero whatever you want to call him i have not seen any trailers for the movie aside from the post credit scene from i think it's no way home uh that's the only thing i've seen didn't want to seem weird uh, aside from no way home i haven't seen any trailers but i probably might when i get home uh so i have no idea what the movie's about i've seen videos about like things you should know about before watching doctor strange and whatnot so i've been kind of recapping a bit on that i've seen all the marvel shows and everything so i'm all caught up I just have no idea what to expect from this movie so i'm super excited and i gotta get snacks i'm not trying to pay like 10 bucks for a bag of candy at the theater i'll do popcorn but not candy at the theater don't want to pay stupid amounts of movie theater money for some candy so we are doing oh they got the big bags of these finally We want to do a third. They don't have a third version. I haven't been here in a minute. What drinks do they have? Anything new? Oh, they moved the monsters. Ooh. Let me get a small pick-me-up, too. But I want to do a big one, because I don't have to pee. Actually, no, fuck it. I'll do a big one. Three for six? Three for six? Fuck it. Say what you want. I'm not taking these to the movies though. Just the candy. How much it costs? Right now about 3500 All electric, no license, no gas, no registration. Yeah, that one's called a Super 73. Yeah, I, yeah, I can tell. Yeah. <laughs> Only thing I'm still trying to get used to with these pockets is how small some of them are. Like I can fit my wallet, but sometimes the zipper is, the zipper just ain't right. And of course, Take advantage of the Irv Labs Urban Basket for all my movie theater snacks and needs. Fix that a bit. Take a picture just to share on Instagram for Irv. Honestly, this thing, this vest has so many pockets. It's a good thing. Because, like, if you can combine the vest with, like, maybe a basket like this or the KJ Products frame bag or anything else, really. Dude, you're set. You're good. You're golden. Let's see if we can slide this back here. Put the gloves on. I love these gloves. I just love how they look. And they work a lot better with my phone. The other gloves, not so much. I have to like super tap. I have to like actually take off the whole glove to use my phone. Damn. <laughs> I looked back at that FedEx store because before I have my current job, uh, at the beginning stages of COVID, I actually worked at that FedEx. And ever since I quit for the job I have now, they've had a hiring sign. So a part of me feels kind of bad that they never rehired. But at the same time, I'm like, I had to get a better job. I had to get a better job. There's something I could do. So there's that. But um, what was I talking about? Oh, yeah, Doctor Strange. So as of recording this video, I haven't seen it. I have not seen any trailers other than the post credit scene i'm probably gonna go home change real quick sneak some of these snacks in my uh probably i can do it in my cargo pants cargo pants are the best yo i'm actually wearing like the most pockets i got the, i got my normal pants pockets the fr two front two back side cargo pants and i have like a whole vest what i should do 
is wear the vest to the movies but i have like a super oversized hoodie i'll have all the snacks bro i'll have all the snacks i'm going alone so I won't, <laughs> i'm not gonna be able to like share my excitement with everyone but I, i'm ready dude i'm ready i i will 100 percent more than likely very confident that i will see this doctor strange movie again in the future like i'll see you multiple times i think i saw no way home like two or three times but yeah uh i think that's all i really wanted to cover the gear uh the new helmet so a new angle of course what the fuck is going on here What the fuck is going on here? Can I sneak all the way to the front? Yeah, I'm going in front of this truck. Like, there's too much space for this truck here. And there's a car trying to get inside. The car can come in. Be careful here. And there we go. Okay. So yeah, with all that being said, let me know how this new setup is. It's basically the same setup, but a different angle. Uh, better microphone. What the fuck was that kid staring at? <laughs> uh, hopefully better microphone placement. Hopefully better sound quality. Aside from like my usual issues of snap crackling and popping of course well yeah pretty uh not so eventful video but i did want to get something out there because i haven't posted in quite some time it feels like but um yeah overall if you enjoyed the video uh drop a like on the video of course subscribe if you're new leave a comment down below if you have any of this new gear like the vest or the gloves or i know they put out some bags as well to to ride with and whatnot i have the old version of the bag i'm debating on getting a new one just because it's super 73 branded and uh who is your favorite avenger who is your favorite marvel avenger i'm gonna try and post this video up this weekend so that way i can still have not really seen the movie before you got what is all this mess over here what is going on there was a mess on the road back there and now there's a mess over here what is going on either way drop a like leave a comment subscribe if you guys want a super for a discount hit the link in the description all that jazz and i will see you guys in the next one i've gotten comments about a group ride on the 14th i'll look into that to see if i can go Oh, wait, this guy. This guy's awesome. Look at this. This guy walks around so far <laughs> with like a whole like plank on his head. He sometimes walks with like two or three long planks of wood on his head. It's awesome. It's hilarious. It's great. But um, 